So one of the questions that patients can ask you is, does your doctor do one-stage implant surgery or two-stage implant surgery? And the answer really is it depends. Uh, it depends on exactly what your situation is. He does both. Um, so I want to define what one-stage implant surgery means, what two-stage implant surgery means, and actually another related topic or term, which is immediate implant placement. So first, immediate implant placement simply means that <clears throat> At the time of extracting a tooth, we place a dental implant at the same time. One stage implant surgery means that when I place a dental implant, and it doesn't have to be at the time of extraction, it can be once everything is healed. So once I place a dental implant, I place a healing cap at the same time. Meaning that's the only surgical procedure that the patient needs for their implant procedure. Because after about four months of healing, after that healing cap has been placed, all we do is test the implant. If it tests good, then we go ahead and tell them to go back to their general dentist to have the implant restored. Two-stage implant surgery means that when I place a dental implant, I put a cover screw on it and I allow the gums to clo close over the cover screw. So now the patient has an implant which is buried underneath the gums. I have to then come back four months later and uncover the implant, meaning do a second stage surgery um, or an uncovering surgery where we get the gums numb, we open the gums up a little bit, take out that cover screw and then put in the healing cap. Then we let the healing cap heal for a little bit and then once everything is healed, then we go ahead and tell the patient they can go for the, uh, the crown from their general dentist. So again, immediate implant has nothing to do with one stage or two stage. I can do an immediate implant and then do it as a one stage procedure, meaning I'll put a healing cap on there, or I can do an immediate implant and do it as a two stage procedure, meaning we'll go ahead and just put a cover screw on, change out that cover screw about four months later with a healing cap. Now usually with an anterior tooth that the patient's going to be wearing a flipper for, we usually do two-stage surgery because we can't have something sticking out through the gums during the whole entire healing phase because it'll just be putting too much forces on that healing cap and onto that implant. So in those cases, I'll usually take the tooth out for an anterior tooth, put the implant in, and then just put a cover screw and let the gums grow over it and then come back and do the second stage procedure or the uncovering procedure and then put a healing cap on there. And obviously in those cases, we'll have to adjust the flipper so it fits over that healing cap, which now is coming out through the gums.